All right, guys, so we're going to fill out an application form. It has different stages in it. We're going to cover one by one. And I'm going to be a bit of quick at the same time. I'm going to keep everything broad. So to begin with, it says edit application data. It just gives you a sort of overview. We have already covered this part. What I want you to keep in mind when you're filing an application is you see this button save. Make sure that you quickly save every stage. Let's go to the next step now. So next stage is general questions. Let's have a look into it very critically now. So what it says, studies completed at a German university slash German University of Applied Science. Studies completed outside of Germany. Yes, this is in my situation. So if you look into it, it has automatically picked up your information from your previous application which you have filled in right the IIT Chennai thing what we discussed about previously uh, before I actually give my suggestion have a look at this it says first study course with what you have done tell us in month and year wise so in our case we have already put March 2015 till April 2019 this is the highest degree I have done which is bachelor's what I want you to do is this is the suggestion what I was talking about erase all of it and start with 10th grade here so you can f fill out five study courses first is right here till till this place and then second starts from here and then third starts from here so on and it goes until fifth so what I want you to do is this is my just a suggestion start filling out for 10th grade then 12th grade then bachelors then if you have done any kind of internship or extra course you fill it in here and then if you have done two internships then sec fill out the second one here now the more information you give uh, for university for unions to judge you on the better for you that's why i always keep recommending to you guys in my videos that go ahead and do extra thing other than your studies which could be doing a part-time job or doing a multiple internship while you're studying in the area where you want to perceive your further studies in. As of now, I don't see any asterisk sign, so I can still proceed from here on. But in your case, you will have to fill in each and every information. It's good for you. So that's how you make your profile look really great. Let's do a quick save and then go to the next step. This is the third step and this is where you'll have to upload files. Uh, Things are very straightforward and clear. Each file may not exceed 10 MB, right? The total size of all the files that you upload may not exceed 100 MB. Let's go ahead. These are the formats. Make sure that you have all these formats. Keep in mind, I mean, it, this is not a rocket science. Usually we always have a PDF or Word file for documents, right? So here you can upload more files for this application space still available for your file is 100 mb so every time you upload it will update here let's go ahead and select the category uh we're gonna go one by one all right let's go ahead and upload cv first since i'm demonstrating to you guys so the documents are not really on point in my view because i don't have real documents right this is just a demonstration i'm showing it to you guys but I have seen some people filled with documents here all right this 99 has also gone to like 36 MBs so imagine the kind of documents what you need to have here so the more you have the better for you all right let's go to the next step of submitting online go to next step again read every single thing also I'm going to show you something uh, you're supposed to file the application virtually but at the same time you're supposed to send them a real copy of it all right I'm gonna show you that this is their office in Berlin I know their office actually anyway so you read everything how do I proceed this is what it, it basically says that you have to upload it virtually but at the same time you have to send them a hard copy of it I'm gonna show you where you can source the hard copy I have read I have read this terms and condition and then submit online all right this is this is the last page where it says print application form have a look at this option print application form the moment I press that there will be a PDF file which will download I have to open that this is going to tell your 
applicant number, all the minute details what you just filled in that application form just now. What I want you to do is print this out, okay? Print this out, you have to fill this information, place, date, and signature, okay? Once you have done printing it out, signing it, then you have to scan it back again, okay? Once you have done scanning that, you have to come back to allocate file and go to category and then application form all right this is the application form and then you have to do the same process so that it can reflect here in the list of your applications so this is the last stage where it says that you have applied for master's course in biomedical in, in lubeck university for winter semester 2018 and your fees is to 75 and you have not paid that again you will be notified in your email address that when and how you have to pay that all right if you want to apply for next application for let's say mechatronics in winter semester you do this now i'm going to go real quick now uh, i want to do masters and then i'm interested in i mean we're going to leave this university uh, option open I'm interested in mechatronics which is right here start search for example I pick this up and this is how the whole process repeats in itself all right I've selected this and then this university is picked up semester one and then you have to follow the same steps what I just showed you right and then general questions you select this one and then fill it out 10th grade, 12th grade, your degree, your internship, if you have work experience, all these things in this place. And then go to next. Now this is where the allocate file makes a huge, huge difference. One thing which will keep changing in all the application you're filing for different university is your letter of motivation. Because letter of motivation is a very crucial part of the process where you will write very precisely to the point for particular university. Now you just have to go ahead and select which document you want to send it for this uh, particular university which we have selected for mechatronics right i can i can select my my cv nothing that's not going to change passport remains the same my letter of uh, uh, language course remains the same my work remains my work experience or the internship letter remains the same what differs is the letter of motivation and that's why i've not selected that for that you will have to make another new letter of motivation go ahead select the category write a letter of motivation l o m and then you have to choose it from the new desktop file which you have saved wherever you have saved whether it's desktop or anywhere you have to go ahead and select that and upload that once you do that it will reflect here make sure when the file is uploaded it's not in the same name otherwise you'll get confused so that's why just to avoid that name it differently this is where you name it differently so once you have done uploading that it, it will reflect here you just have to go ahead and do blue tick all right for now let's go with this and then go to the next step all right once you are here you come here you come here and then and and make sure that you're keeping this address in your mind because this is where you'll have to send the hard copy also along with the soft copy so uh, print application again the same PDF file opens up and then if this is for mechatronics now for HAW München and the data remains the same all your uh, academics information again what you got to do is you have to print this out at the bottom uh, you have to write the place where you are date and sign this scan this copy again and then put it back in the system of allocate file uh, category application form write application form and then choose this option to upload the file once you have already submitted all right this is where you go continue now you see we already did lubeck now we have already submitted for for mechatronics also and the fees now is 15 euros and this is 75 euros so this is how the process is going to go